Hi guys and welcome back to Yashi with Crypto News today. Let's get started. Let's hit record. A lot of stuff happening this week and we are awaiting the CPI report and the Federal Reserve meeting decision which will impact everything including crypto. Let's get started here with Bitcoin at 16.975. We're again under 17k unlike on Friday when I did the last update. Ethereum 1249 so under 30 1300 and BNB 276 so under 300. People are getting scared, uh, people are awaiting and preparing for potential decisions that will bring the market up or down. Let's start here with Cointelegraph. Biggest wave, biggest week of the year, five things to know in Bitcoin week. So most popular CPI print forms key focus. This is the last CPI, major CPI report of the year. And this could literally flip the entire economy to get it ready for something good next year or something bad. BTC spot price waits for action. We're again around the 70k mark as we just saw. US dollar teases renewed strength and supply shock ratio near 10 years high. Um, if everything goes well, we could go into supply shock like it happened in 2017 or 2021, which will make Bitcoin explode to a much higher price. Let's go on here with industry exact voices confidence and DeFi adoption despite security flaws. They say that even though there were bad situations in DeFi, um, we need institutions to go into DeFi. It's all about uh, institutional investors having a deep understanding of the transparency of DeFi and trust in the whole system, which again is uh, questionable and interesting at the same time because we have DeFi, let's say, examples of, uh, for example, Maple Finance, uh, which uh, in the DeFi world is a platform that gives uh, no reserve lending without collateral and is also going insolvent. So it's interesting, on one side you should have trust in DeFi, on the other we see DeFi projects failing because of too much DeFi. So it is a double-edged sword, we'll see how that will play out and how institutions will invest into that. Uh, let me delay this. Uh, Bybit joins Trends releases Merkle Tree Verified Proof of Reserves. Instead of re releasing a normal proof of funds with a screenshot, some pictures and stuff, these guys are releasing, let's say, an update to the platform enabling investors to see how much they own and how much liquidity is on the other side to confirm that their assets are protected. Is this something new? Is this interesting? Definitely interesting. Bitcoin Lightning Network to be used in field transfers between EU and Africa. Coin Corner and Bitnob formed up to create cross-border transactions between UK, Europe and to Africa via the Bitcoin Lightning Network. Instead of using platforms like uh, um, Western Union, which has multiple steps of uh, confirmation of transaction, these guys are simply planning to enable people to get the euros, transfer it immediately to Bitcoin, uh, sell it to somebody in Africa, but then transfer it immediately in the African currency or whichever other currency. Interesting, much quicker. Uh, will it work? I don't know, but it is a pretty cool technology to use uh, for international transactions. Sam Bankman Pride wants to start a new business to pay back victims of FTX collapse. This is what you need to know. The guy who has been under scrutiny for the past month uh, is now saying that he wants to redeem himself and build another company. I will leave the interpretation to you. I will not say anything. Uh, but I believe you already get my feeling about this. Will it do it? Will it go in prison before that? We don't know anything. It's still going on, but the guy is still speaking. Next one here, your Senator John Tester says, uh, no reason why cryptocurrencies should exist, regulation coming. His main argument is uh, he does not believe in cryptocurrencies. The problem is that if we regulate it, and I pointed this out to some of the regulators here a week ago, if you regulated it, it might give the ability to people to think it's real. So if you don't think it's real and start regulating it, uh, you start bringing in more money. If you keep it unregulated uh, and uh, keep it being seen as a scammy thing, uh, less people will go to it. Again, interpretation is on to you, but we have also legislators on the other side. We have been talking positively from legislators in the past three weeks, even though we saw the FTX collapse. This is the first one who is completely against it. Maple Finance, uh, we already talked about this. Um, basically, why are they failing? Maple Finance, and instead of doing, um, let's say, collateral like other lending platforms, it's basically a DAO that lets investors in the DAO decide whether to give or not give a loan. So 
It is, let's say, the epicenter of the centralized lending platform, as the investors themselves in a group decide whether to lend money or not. And uh, this system, as for now, seems to be getting closer to, let's say, liquidity crisis and problematics, especially after the FTX contagion. If the market would have been good, probably they would have been in a good position now. But it is good to see how different systems are working, especially in times of negative thought, recession, liquidity crises. And although they did not fail, they are having a couple of issues. Tron USDD stablecoin falls to under 0.97 lowest point since June. This is another algorithmic stablecoin that we saw with Terra Luna UST. And they lost their peg as the coin moved more than 3%, uh, which is more than what they say on their, let's say, promise. They underdelivered their promise here. Last but not least for today, first mover Asia, Uniswap, fee switch proposal for popular Ether pools stirs up community debate. Um, what Uniswap is trying to do here is removing some of the rewards from the staking liquidity pools and uh, moving it more into holders to Unis of Uniswap. So basically moving the rewards from one side to the other. Of course, people that are staking Ethereum are against it. People are holding Uniswap will be for it. They've been testing it out already a little bit. We'll see if this will become something more, let's say, longer term, or if it just was a temporary test. Guys, this is all for now. I will release an update today about uh, what we could expect on the CPI report tomorrow and what could be the consequences then in the Federal Reserve decision that then will affect the entire markets, including Bitcoin. Thank you for watching, guys. If you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe. Ciao.